Today's video we'll be rehousing a carabiner, Carabina lieta, the Puerto Rico pink toe, less common in the genus of carabiner. Let's move it out of this enclosure into a mantis den 10 by 10 by 15. So we have the mantis den enclosure with its pre-drilled holes that I put in all the sides, the door, the back and the replacement piece of acrylic. All we've got to do is build this so that she can have a, a nice bit more space, probably about three, four, five molts, um, depending on how much they grow between each one. But what we'll do is we'll get this built and we'll find some nice cork bark, some substrate, and a water bowl, etc. and get them into this one. So let's build this. And there we go. So all built. Air holes, all nicely done. Sides, front, back, all near the top. Some good ventilation. We'll give it some substrate up to about here. We've got the cork bark to go in there for the spider to be nice and safe and hide in there and feel it's secure. We won't bother putting the substrate and the cork bark in here on camera. It's a standard setup. You know what it looks like. Substrate up cork bark leaning up towards the back, water bowl glued on high, possibly one low to give top and bottom uh, access to water, always important to give spider access to water. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll move to the other room um, and we will be in there with this all set up, the other enclosure and we'll move the spider across. So here we are in Rehouse Central with the new setup. As you can see we have our cork bark, we have a little bit of uh, greenery in there, some sphagnum moss, water bowl held up high, water bowl down low just to give it options and some staggered substrate towards the back so it's nice and deep around the back here so they've got plenty of opportunity to web up and do what they want to do, lots of room around there so yeah basic setup but pretty nice. Right so we'll move that to there and hopefully we can take the spider out of here and get this done with a zero hassle. I'm just going to move the camera to there so that I've got room to actually do this. So let's have a look and see what we've got with this spider, shall we? As you can see, they've just whipped up everything in here. I'm not sure how really we're going to take this out, to be honest. Possibly just destroy all of its webbing. Right, there's a spider there. Spider's here. Just there. So what I might do is I might just use this little stick, see if we can encourage it up. Are you going to go down, are you? Or are you going down? Try and keep this on camera, but see what I'm going to do. Give me two seconds. The water bowl we have, I'm just going to use a little bit of tissue paper, absorb the water out of the bowl. So when we start tipping this around, it doesn't soak the spider and make it bolt out. Right, water bowl's empty. Let's see what we've got in here. Try and take this stuff out. We've got a lot of webbing. Take that out of there. Spider is probably Oh, we can see where the spider is. The spider's just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on here, like that, and try and encourage the spider up. This ribbon is so thick.
There we go. Come on, dude. Come on. Look how gorgeous that spider is. How stunning it is. Absolutely beautiful spider. Let's see if we can encourage it into its new home nice and gently. There we go, off your web. There we go. And this one will have like plenty of room in here for quite a while. As you can see, this one was okay, but it was just starting to get a little bit tatty in there. I wanted to sort of have a look at the spider and make sure it had room to molt. Always nice to get it rehoused while I have one of these managed den to spare. Right, should we see if you'll go in? You go in? You go for a walk? Straight round the back. Is that what we've done? Straight onto its cork bark. Just back there. Loads of room. Awesome. Very simple rehouse. Right. See if I can get some other footage of this while uh, I'm talking over it. But I think that will be done for today. I've had a heavy four days away at a festival with Phil of Incredible Inverts and other animals um, and I'm struggling a little bit to uh, to survive right now <laughs> so anyway right let's go back to the other room and that is the rehousing of the Carabina Lieta uh, Puerto Rican Pink Toe not as much as common as the Versicolor just as beautiful it's um, it doesn't go as bright but it's those lovely browns and it's still got the iridescence on its feet and I happen to think it's a really beautiful tarantula. Um, I got that one from Portsmouth Tarantulas in a mystery box at the end of last year. And it's it's grown on from a very, very tiny sling to quite a nice size now. Um, so hopefully it will do well in that new enclosure. There will, will be updates obviously coming at some point. I do apologise for my voice at the moment. I have got back, as I said, when we was rehousing from four days at... Uh, Bloodstock Festival, listening to some very heavy music with uh, Phil Barber of Incredible Inverts and Other Animals um, and Matthew from Custom Aquaria. It it was a really good four days, but I'm now paying the price, <coughs> so I do apologise. Um, what have we got coming up in the next few weeks? So in the next few weeks on my videos, we're going to have a Brachypelma showcase where I go through rehousing quite a few of my brachies and we will be doing uh, a few lives we haven't got a live this week we've got a live next week and we've got a live the week after so hopefully you'll tune in for those i'm very 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 close to my 4,000 viewing hours um so it'd be greatly appreciated if anyone does want to uh, spend their time with some videos playing in the background it would be much appreciated um i want to thank everybody who has uh, joined up to the members um i am so grateful for all the memberships that people have submitted and uh, the support has been unreal so thank you so so much um, the channel continues to amaze me um, we've got the Bedford show coming up in September um, I will probably be at the Bedford show um, and then after that we have Coventry which I'm not sure whether I'm going to be attending yet um, but that's because there's a show uh, in Mildenhall uh, Phil uh, his his show start of November so we have to sort of juggle which ones we can attend but I'll be definitely a bit of Bedford um, anyway if you did enjoy this video and you did enjoy the rehouse uh, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not that would be much appreciated and leave a comment let me know what you'd like to see in the next few weeks maybe some more of the collection maybe a little bit of a tour um, having a look at some of the smaller spiders the larger spiders whatever you want to see just let me know let me know what interests you and we'll try and accommodate everybody who wants to see what they want to see anyway thank you very much and i'll catch up with you next week